Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT game on the ranked ladder. We are here playing some ranked TFT. This is part of my rank series. This is going to be video number eight in my rank series. We've been climbing steadily since we began. Uh, I've, had a, I've had quite a few games that have gone pretty well. So we shall see how this one goes. It looks like we got a Syndra and Syndra and Ash. I mean, obviously I know Syndra is like one of the best units in the whole freaking game right now. So maybe we'll go her. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure though. We'll see right now. Look, I even got a good item for her. She can start stacking immediately. Oh, and a Shivana. Okay. So, I don't usually like to go Syndra reroll because every single person in the game goes Syndra reroll. But, we are not above doing so to win, I have to say. Especially if the game's just gonna give us the beginning board like this. Then it, it's, uh, it's hard to argue with, you know? Kind of hard to argue with it. Galio. I don't know if I need that. Galio. Ooh. I do like going sugar crafts, but the last game that I played, I went sugar crafts. So I don't know if I want to do that. Gain three, one cost champions, two, two cost. Dude, I'm going to take this just to get a little bit better direction on what to go. Let's find out. Oh, can't, can't get that. What about now? Nice. Two-star Shivana. Another multi-striker. Sell these. For gold. There's a Wukong right there. Just gonna slam these items right here. And I guess we just wait for a third Eldritch to put in there. Not sure if I want to go any of these Sugarcraft units. I don't think I should. I think I should just wait on Elise and see how that goes. Elise or Cassiopeia. So I'm sure you guys have seen this build before uh, a million times. <laughs> I'm about to try to go it. Hopefully we don't get griefed too hard, even though, I mean, it's it's almost impossible to not get griefed too hard. Oh, this guy's going a cool comp. He's going Ash, not Ash. He's going Ari. Both of those names started with an A, though. That's why I got confused. Anyway. Oh, I should have definitely bought this just for funsies. Whoops. Another Syndra. And there's an Elise. Sweet. This is probably a lot stronger. Even though Wukong is amazingly good as a frontline, he can just frontline by himself so hard. It's awesome. Like I was saying earlier, this is part of my Ranked Climb series. So if you like watching somebody climb through Ranked, our current goal is Masters. Then you should hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video. You don't have to do it now. Maybe in a little bit later. Maybe in a little bit later when you watch, when you watch what I'm about to pull off in this game right here. Which is a first, I hope. Oh, this guy has a lot of front line dude thankfully eldritch makes up my front line pretty hard oh man that's cinder's just busted man i mean even if like we're top four and off of this early game board pretty much no matter what so yeah you just go cinder cassiopeia maybe i should take this chance to teach you guys i'm sure i'm sure all of you have seen it but maybe you haven't seen it. Maybe you want to watch Syndra Cassiopeia, which is it's pretty simple. You just go level six. Oh, this guy's playing Frost, dude. I love Frost. It's uh, my number one underrated trait of the set that I feel like people don't pay enough attention to. But I've, I've, topped, I've topped many a game just playing Frost. Um, honestly... Uh, people are gonna be see I was playing frost before this uh, people are obviously Gonna pick up units like Cassiopeia and Syndra, but where is she? Cass? There you are. 
and then Nico. Show you guys how to play this comp. All you do is you go six shapeshifter front line, and you play Cassiopeia and Syndra. It's really that simple. It's really that simple. Super easy. I'm gonna pre level here. Even though, you know, making Eco there would have been good too, but. Just wanna get to level 6 as soon as possible so I can start rolling down. It's basically what I wanna do. I normally wouldn't go this because I don't like going super meta comps. In fact, it makes me super angry. <laughs> to see so many people play the same comp, but I mean, why would you argue with this start, man? It just doesn't make any sense. I don't make no sense. Uh, yikes, what can I get here? These are both equally. Oh, no, no, no. This for a Rage Blade. Because you want to put two Rage Blades on Cassiopeia, so. Ultimately, we would be fitting that in sooner or later. Just gonna have Wukong hold my items. I have Wukong hold my items for my Nico. I can sell this. I don't need that. There we go. Wukong can just hold my items for my Nico, which will eventually be three starring Nico as well. But yeah, I I know that there is a comp with Wukong as well, where he's just the main tank, and you just build like three stone plates on him. I'm pretty sure it's like a preserver build or something like that. I don't know what it is. Uh, dude, I can't wait till this gets patched though. Um, I'm of the camp where I think that uh, like reroll comps should be good. You know, they should definitely carry you through the entire mid game. Absolutely. Like if you have three stars and stuff, but I don't think they should be the strongest comps in the game. I think. That should be pretty reserved for like five costs unit. You know, like five cost units should be the best units in my opinion. That's something I heartedly agree with Mort Dog about. Dang, dude, I could have could have almost made a Rage Blade here. You know, I don't think Rage Blade's that good on her. Conjurer Rift. I'm, I've actually never read her ability before, so we're gonna do that right now. Conjurer Rift on the target that deals magic damage and shreds for 20% for six seconds. The ability upgrades the more it's casts. 15 casts, enemies adjacent are shredded and get dealt magic damage, 30 plus casts. For every 30 casts, additional rifts that deal. Oh, dude, wait, what? For every 30 casts, create an additional rift on a nearby enemy that deals 35% damage. Okay, that's, that's pretty good, man. No wonder she's so good. You know, I bet if I slammed a Rage Blade on her right now, it wouldn't even be bad. She would just cast faster. If I did that, she would just be casting way faster. Because she would be uh, attacking more. Now we have a 2-star. <laughs> Alright, we're we're insanely strong just off that 2-star, dude. Oh, this guy's playing Eldritch as well. well. He's not going the same thing I am, is he? I can't really tell. I don't think that he is. This guy has two shapeshifter. He has one of my Nikos. This guy also has one of my Nikos and a Cassiopeia of mine. I don't like that. Okay, well, not too much we can do about that yet. Maybe soon. Oh, that's good. I definitely wanted that cloak. Sword. Oh, two star ash. Okay. Freely given to me. Another Syndra. I'm thinking I'd go for Shapeshifter here if I find one, and I did find one. So we will be going that. I will sell this, put Nico in, give her some good items. Where did I get this from? Oh, it just gave it to me because of the wish I picked. There we go. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Four Shapeshifter frontline, three Eldritch. I should have plenty of time for my Syndra to build up her casts. Uh, I don't really need any more Eldritch, so I could probably sell this warrior chick. Don't, I don't, oh, I forgot to replace my Ash with a two-star Ash. 
Nico should be pretty tanky with with a uh, stone plate on her. Oh, this is the guy that's also going Cassiopeia. I'm mainly going Syndra, really, so. It's not a huge deal, but I do want do want a Cassiopeia in here. The encounter bonus will be quite good. Uh, ooh, okay, Young, Wild, and Free. I love that augment. A lesser champ dupe would definitely help me three-star my unit faster. I'm going to take Young, Wild, and Free, though. It's... Kind of my, one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to sell this. And this. Replace this. Yeah, I, I don't really... I think we're in a good spot. Oh, these guys got more HP with their augments. Which is kind of good, because maybe we'll get an earlier pick. But we'll see. Uh, this guy's playing an extremely wide comp. It looks good, man. He... He's cooking. He's definitely cooking right now. I'm gonna move Syndra at the last second here, and now. <laughs> okay, hopefully that helps. Moving her to that other side. I think it should buy her a little bit extra time to cast. Oh no, my Elise, dude. Leave my Elise alone. Oh, he has an Eldritch Abomination as well. Nice. That was a big stun. Oh no, he's beating me. He's beating me. Go, Nico. Transform, please. Shapeshift. Nice. Perfect timing. Go, 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 go. Heal. Oh, dude. No, Syndra can't win that. Why is Neela so strong? I never knew. I never knew that Neela was like that. She's pretty good. She's pretty strong. Well, it's kind of sad that we lost that one. But it's not the worst thing. Oh, I'll give I'll give my health for gold. Just trying to roll for her right now. Um, I know he's also gathering her, right? He's also collecting Cinders. Not exactly, but he is collecting Nikos, which isn't great. That means everybody in here just kind of split up amongst everybody. We're all playing her a little bit. Man. We need to get back on a win streak here. I mean, as soon as Syndra is three-starred, she will uh, kind of pop off. Pop off pretty hardcore. Oh, uh, look at that, Olaf. Oh, oh. Oh, dude. Hunter Kogma, pretty good. Dang, dude. At least we got the gold for the last streak. These dudes are getting pretty strong. The health is fluctuating. The health. The health. Uh, there's another Nico right there. That's kind of huge. I'll take that. Just a two star here. There's Cassiopeia as well. Can't add her in yet, though. Not quite yet. But I did want this Nico. I suppose if there was a Syndra there, I would have taken her too. Do you have another bow for another Rage Blade eventually? So, I'm going to roll down at level 6 until I hit the 3-star Syndra. Then I'm going to go level 7 and add Cassiopeia in, whether she's 3 star or not. Reroll your shop with all 1 costs. Worth 0 gold. Nope. Oh. Okay, getting ever closer to my 3-star Syndra. I'm actually super close right now. Should definitely be able to hit her after wolves uh keeping an eye on everybody else's amounts of syndras that they have and it looks like we're doing pretty well there, nobody really is trying to three-star syndra except for us right now it's kind of funny i thought i'd be super contested right about now uh this guy's also playing honeybees which are super good but maybe with our two-star nico we can tank long enough for Syndra to pop up. How many casts does she have right now? 40 casts. Okay, she's she's working on it. She's getting there. She's doing good. I want a jeweled gauntlet on her. So she can do some extra damage. Thinking jeweled gauntlet and then I mean giant slayer I guess wouldn't be the worst item. It does give her some 
damage amp, but... Oh, this. Another Cassiopeia. Have to pick her up. Okay, if we're about to win here, I will sell my two ashes to try to make eco. So hopefully we do win. We're still on the top three, which is good. This guy's so strong, man. This guy's so strong. He's playing so good. It's a very good wide comp. Oh, I'm holding in a sneeze right now. I don't know if you can tell. Please don't sneeze. There you go. Now I don't have to sneeze at all. Uh, dude. We win this, right? I mean, he's, he's got a pretty cool twitch back there. But he put some interesting items on him. Maybe he's going to transfer them over to Huey. I mean, those would be a lot better on Huey. Wow. Nico's just thick. She's very thick. Okay, we made great eco here. Thanks to winning that. This dude. Okay. Another. Hmm. Hey, right, there's two star Cassiopeia. Two star Cassiopeia. Which is pretty sick. Uh, I think there's just one guy that I've seen holding her. It's that guy? I mean, he, he just has one. It's not the worst thing. Okay. Champ tubes? Maybe? Some items that I need would be great. Oh, there's a gauntlet. That's awesome. Another gauntlet. A little excessive, but okay. We'll take. Two costs. Okay. Sell all this. Pick up this. Sell that. Pick up this. Uh, am I only one away? Yep. We're rolling down until we get her then. Or not. Or not, dude. Yeah, I definitely give her a jeweled gauntlet. Bloodthirster. Quicksilver, none of these are great. Uh, Jewel Gauntlet should be pretty good on her. I thought I would three star her there, I'm not gonna lie. I was close, but not close enough. I don't really care for these units. You know, like Ash. I'm not even gonna be playing Ash. I'm gonna be playing my sweet, sweet Briar whenever I find her later on. Oh, this guy's pretty strong. The Ari, the Ari comp's pretty good. I like this comp a lot. Oh. Good thing we won there. Alright, what augment are we gonna get? Prismatic Ticket, brother. Obviously, we're gonna get that. There's... There's Syndra. Uh, since we got Prismatic Ticket... It's almost... Kind of mandatory that we roll down for Cassiopeia. Another Nico, another Cassiopeia. Okay, now we're only one away. Uh, we're gonna stop rolling right there. But. I, I almost wanted to just go level 7 there real fast. Maybe I should have for the encanter bonus. And my items are kind of mid. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of AP items. Or not a lot of AP items is what I meant to say. So, Nico, Dude, I've almost 3 starred Nico as well. Which is good because I, I really... Dude, this guy has a briar! How do you get a briar? Oh, this is the insanely strong guy that's going first. Well, he is in first. I gotta hit all my three stars, dude. Another one of these. The dragon nears. Another one of these. Back in her there she is, Cassiopeia. Nice. Uh, hit her a lot earlier than I thought I would. Um, 
I don't want to sell any of these. I'm about to three-star Shivana, so we'll do this. This is probably better. <laughs> I mean, it's a three-star, right? I, I hope so. I don't want to give a red buff that's such a bait, man. I'm not going to do it. Okay, we, we three-starred our units. I'd say this is pretty early on. Oh, this guy's also going Fiora. Uh, maybe since she's three-starred? Oh, oh, dude, Fiora's strong. Okay, all right, all right, all right, I get it. We lose that one. Chill out. Let me go level seven real fast. I really do need that three-star Nico though. She's she's pivotal to making this work. When she's three-starred, she almost can't die at all. Cassiopeia, Morgana, I need items. So I will indeed go for the Raj. Now, Morgana is extremely useful for for a lot of people. She uh, plays really well into that preserver comp that this guy is going. So hitting this Morgana early for him is pretty good. But I'm not too worried about it. Because if I three-star my two frontline units and I get Cassiopeia some items, should be chillin'. Any champions you bench this turn have removed items and broken apart. I mean... Okay, so that's a Rage Blade. I could make another Rage Blade real fast. Right now. Oh, I see. I have to get rid of it. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I think I want... I think I want my Syndra to carry as well. I'll level up after this round, and then I'll roll down for an Eco. And hopefully get her. I mean, I suppose even Shroud wouldn't be the worst thing to slam on her. Whoa, dude. This guy's melting me. Wow, I'm sure making this comp look pretty weak right now. wonder why. Is it Cassiopeia? Is she too weak without the items that she needs? I need Swain. And another shapeshifter. So, Swain, Nasus, and Swain. Swain and uh, Nasus. Or preferably a Briar, which is going to be our, our biggest girl whenever we hit her. Don't want to level yet. Uh, it'll only put me at 20 gold. I think I should. Just to not die. Try to buy myself a little time. And then... My items are just so bad. <laughs> I guess I could do like a Nasher's Tooth on on my Syndra if I don't find another rod. We'll see. See if I do. Oh yeah. Dude, everybody's just melting my front line. It's crazy. It's crazy. What is this? And, did they nerf this while I wasn't looking? It's feeling kind of weak. Dragon Blaster. Okay, I'm gonna roll down a little bit after this. Just enough to try to hit 3-star Nico. Uh, let me see if I can. Maybe I can. Uh, I think I can. I don't... I don't really see that many. Does this guy have any Nikos? Not really. He does have a Briar though. Wish I had one of those. Okay, I, I just gotta slam all my items now. There's Nico. Three star Shivana. Three star Nico. Sell that. Actually itemize my dudes here. Uh, Nasher's Tooth. Right here. Give her this. Then I gotta level up again so I can go six shapeshifter. And then nice, a hex that gunblade for my Oh my god, I hate it when my items disappear, dude. 
You see that? Where's my rage blade? Or where's my my rod, dude? <laughs> Why does it go away like that? It's so scut. Okay, I really gotta try to hit six shapeshifter pretty soon here. My board's finally stabilized a little bit since I hit pretty much everything, but I have to go level eight, I'm pretty sure. Gain an artifact to Anvil. I will indeed take that. Colonel Winter. I wanted a tank item, so I'm taking that. Okay, uh, yep. Go level eight. Hopefully find Briar magically. We can hit her on the carousel, which would be pretty good if we did hit her on the carousel. Yeah, I, I took Young Wild and Free for a reason, and it's to go level 8 here and hit her on the carousel. Um, it's, yeah, it's coming up pretty soon. My Nico is a lot tankier than she was before. Fiora is on my back line, which just sucks really terribly for me. Oh, I got her somehow. Come on, Hexac, heal me up, please. Oh, nice. Dude, can't believe I won that. He's about to have a golden egg hatch, though. Which is gonna... Yeah, it's about to hatch right now. He's about to cash out big. What's he gonna get? Champ dupe, anime visage, Zanyas. Yikes. Victory awaits. Okay, so that's one Swain, which we needed pretty badly. And that's all we can do for now. Just chill out here. Some more items would be great for my Shivana so she could tank as well. I need a stronger frontline, really. That's kind of what I'm lacking on right now. Ooh, that is a huge, huge Diana, dude. That is an enormous Diana. She's gonna dash into my back line. It's gonna hurt pretty badly. Yep. As I knew she would. Uh, hopefully... Yeah, she got blasted right there by my Syndra. Syndra does scale, so... That's pretty good. I'm glad Syndra scales. Uh, no way, dude. There's nothing I need here. Guess I'll take this for tanking purposes. Like I said, I needed more tanks, but... Uh, I really, really need to get a Briar kind of what I need over everything right now. It's just Briar. This guy on first is extremely buff. Yeah, I think that's kind of the problem with this comp. It's, uh... It's, it kind of falls off, I feel like, late game, you know? Which, I mean, should, right? It's a two-star two -star, uh, reroll. It's exactly what I needed to be like. This guy's playing playing a different game right here. Three Preserver, Eldritch, Shapeshifter. It's interesting. I don't want to go level 8 until after Dragon because I want to try to maximize my... my gold. Yo, this guy has an insane front line, though, with the Swukong. Good thing I'm AP. But, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good go 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 Syndra go oh he also has a dragon's claw though nice good I want to beat this guy come on you can do it you can do it yeah good Syndra dude you see Syndra carrying she's carrying hard sell that and that I got five free rerolls so it is possible that we might get lucky and find a briar Oh man, am I fighting this guy again? If I'm fighting this guy again, it could be some trouble. This guy three-starred his Vagar, which is also trouble for me. Everybody's hitting their three stars now. Um, we'll see. We'll just see. It's the first place, dude. Yikes. This guy's really, really strong. 
Maybe Syndra's uh, stacked up enough now that she can just one-shot everybody. Well, she's doing a great job at it. Uh, but still in danger for now. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is why Syndra's the best. What? Well. Two-star shapeshifter, Swain. Uh, he's pretty strong now. He's pretty strong. Uh, that guy's complaining about getting a two-star Fiora before, uh, or getting a two-star Diana before Fiora. Just unlucky. Plus, a lot of people are going her. I saw a lot of people were going Fiora. Okay, I think we can forgo the three Eldritch for six Shapeshifter now. I could level up twice. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. I guess I'll take this for now. Shapeshifters. Oh. Hey, there's Briar, dude. Hey. Whoops. Definitely need her. There's six Shapeshifter with Eldritch. And now I just add in something else later on. Bloodthirster. I'll give that to my chick there. Let me... Oh, I was going to feed her some of my HP and make her a little bit stronger. Okay, I can sell this. This gauntlet's not really useful. Let's put it right there. Oh. Get those carries, dude. Get those carries. <laughs> nice. Oh, I heal him, that guy. Rip, buddy. Rip, dude. This comp's broken, dude. Nerf this. Nerf it! Nerf. Gain two target dummies. Mm. Do I want that? I'll just use some of my free rerolls. There you go. I feel a blizzard. Morgana? Should I add Morgana? I don't really see a reason to. I don't see a reason to add this chick either, but she's just strong. Just a strong unit. Oh, this is a great time to remind you. If you're still watching, you should definitely subscribe and like. Give the video a like. It really helps me out with the algorithm. And if you're new here, subscribe. I can teach you, uh, you know, OP comps like this. Usually I don't really play meta comps. I... I go like just whatever I feel like, which I feel like it's what the game needs. It's pretty, uh, you know, when you watch three people in the same lobby going Cassid and then Cassiopeia, it's pretty boring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I am going to go Cassiopeia this round, seamlessly. It's already too late. I'm already here. Uh, this would be better if he was two-starred. How many? Three of my HP. I'm a little scared. Oh, he three-starred Gwen! I mean, I can't beat a three-star Gwen. We're definitely not feeding our unit here. Hopefully, he fights this guy and he gets absolutely sh shafted. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I could do to beat that three-star Gwen. I don't think there is a way. She is huge and has really good items for her gonna laser my stuff right here unless uh, Syndra targets her but she's not doing that oh no I mean dude I'm surprised that my Nico has even lasted that long can I beat that oh, oh dude maybe I can maybe beat that if they're both on the same side <laughs> I think I might actually be able to beat that um, Bastion emblem I'll take Bastion Emblem, I'll level up. And put Diana in. If I have enough to level up. But it definitely seems like a decent plan to me. Oh, this guy lived again, dude. Okay. Uh, I can't level up. But now I can. 
put that in to give her Bastion since she's three starred. We feed Briar some HP because why not? Oh, this guy beat me before that though. He's pretty strong. He's pretty freaking strong. Okay. I hope that works. Should be a little bit better than what I had before. Well, um, my poor unit there just completely got wrecked. I just need Nico to kind of like survive the longest that she possibly can. Heal up, Nico! Yes! Yes! Okay. It's at least a second, I think. Yep, it's at least a second. Beating this guy with 3-star Gwen while he, ha whilst he has this much HP might be a little bit more difficult than the other dude. Maybe if I 2-starred my uh, Briar, I'd be a little bit stronger. Although, it's debatable if I'd be strong enough to take this guy down. Okay. Hopefully putting everything on that one side will have everyone target Gwen and just kind of get her out of here before she beats me. We're still trying. We're still trying for that first place, baby. It doesn't matter if you got a three-star Gwen. Ugh. Okay, it matters a little bit. She's kind of destroying my board. Hey, can somebody attack her, though? No? Oh, I died a lot faster that time. All right, it's a second. GG. Remember to like the video and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.